Hello everyone and welcome to our Kikonia channel. Uh, welcome to our little series here comparing hybrid technologies and their impact on development. Today's top uh, is Flutter and we are going to take a deep dive uh, into this technology which is Google's revolutionary framework for building beautifully natively compiled applications for mobile, web and desktop from a single code base. As you can see here we have uh, a lot of applications which were developed using Flutter for all kinds of screens. We have games, we have applications, all of this possible because they are powered by Flutter. Uh, next up, uh, we are going to take a look at the way Flutter allows us to do all of these things, which is its really cool philosophy of using the Skia graphics engine, which is what is responsible for rendering our UI, allowing for highly customizable and complex designs that are consistent across platforms. What does this mean? It usually means that Flutter is something close to the Unity engine in which it will draw all of the individual pixels on the screen and let you have complete flexibility and very high performance uh, inside of your applications. Why would you want to do something like this? What are the ideal cases uh, for Flutter? It is particularly suited uh, for teams which have an experience in Dart. It's a complementary programming language. It shines in scenarios where high mobile performance is a priority. Uh, however, for simple applications, it's essential to evaluate if this performance benefits justify choosing Flutter over alternatives like React Native uh, or Ionic. Now, one of the key strengths of Flutter is its high performance. Thanks to Google's backing, uh, it is able to boast robust and up-to-date packages and has the ability to write one single code base for all of the platforms and significantly reduce development time and resources. Of course, this does not come uh, without its challenges and drawbacks. It is important to be aware of them because Flutter is a relatively new technology. It experiences quite, kind of frequent changes in its API and syntax and coupled with a smaller pool of experienced developers can pose challenges. And additionally, Flutter's capabilities for SEO in web applications are kind of still evolving. Um, but in conclusion, Flutter offers a compelling toolkit for developing high quality, natively compiled applications for multiple platforms in its unique approach backed by Google, which makes it a strong contender in a cross-platform development space, especially for teams familiar with Dart. As with any technology, weights advantages against its drawbacks to make the best decision for your projects. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for many more insights.